<laughs> um, I know physics might make you mad, but uh, it shouldn't make you that mad. Are you okay? Man, we got stuck on a roller coaster at Five Flags. Five Flags? What the heck is that? You're a physics teacher. I feel like you should have been there. Right? Oh, yeah. I... He was late because he missed the bus. Yeah. I mean, what okay. do you expect? as usual. Well, where's Abeni and Gerardo? Still stuck on some other ride. What? I mean, no one was doing any work there. Right. I mean, it's Five Flags. They were all on their phones. Huh. Just sitting around. <laughs> Sounds like y'all. Oh, wait a minute. Well, actually, it sounds like the employees and the roller coasters had no energy. Energy is the ability to do work. And Matt, you already learned that work occurs when a force causes an object to be displaced. I don't remember that. Right, right. Um, let's see. If I place a rubber band around my hands like this, it doesn't really feel like it has the ability to close my fingers. Um... But when I stretch it, it now has the ability to do work on my fingers. Oh. Now, it doesn't matter if it ever moves my finger. It just has the potential to do so, based on its position. Hmm. Potential energy is stored energy based on position. And there are many types. Chemical potential energy, elastic potential energy, like we're talking about right now, and gravitational potential energy. Now, we know gravity definitely has the ability to do work on objects. I mean, could this ball do work on something below if it was dropped? I mean, yeah, of course. Look at it. Well, what about now? Um, how can it be dropped if it's already on the table? Yeah. Exactly. What? <laughs> it has no GPE at its lowest point doesn't have the ability to do work on anything on the table. Oh, yeah. Let's try this one. Uh, okay. Which ball has the highest ability to do work if it were dropped? Um, the bowling ball, right? Duh. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, what about now? Ooh, uh, oh, the Earth. Why the Earth? The Earth has more gravity. Exactly. Oh, uh, yeah. Gravitational potential energy can be calculated by taking the mass of the object, multiplying it by gravitational acceleration, and multiplying it by its height. Because these are the three things that affect gravitational potential energy. But who cares about potential if you never do anything? Mm -hmm. What are y'all looking at me for? I have the highest GPA in this school. That's cap. And I do my work. That's cap. That's cap. <laughs> in order to actually do some work, something has to move at some point. Which is why our study of motion was so important in this class. Energy associated with moving objects is known as kinetic energy. And the larger the object is, and the faster that it moves, well, it has a higher ability to do work. We can calculate kinetic energy by taking half of the mass and multiplying it by the velocity squared. Let's test this out. I have a 0.5 kilogram marble at the top of a hill. That's one meter high. How much GPE does it have here? Okay, so we just take the mass, 0.5, multiply it by gravitational acceleration. 9.81, that's what it always is. Oh, right, right, right. And the height is one meter, so just multiply three numbers together. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, 4.9 meters? Wait, 4.9 what? I don't know. Joules. Oh, cute. I like that. N no, after him. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we can also call it a Newton meter. Well, anyway, how much GPE would it have down here? Um, none. It's at its lowest point, right? Where did that energy go? Well, think about how it would even get down there in the first place. It takes energy to move. Potential energy. And that potential energy wasn't destroyed it was converted to kinetic energy as it moved downwards. Oh, that does The total make sense. amount of okay. energy, which is known as mechanical energy, will always be the same in a closed system. The total amount of energy you have in the beginning will be the total amount of energy you have at the end. Oh, in oh, every yeah, single I, point I, I, on this sense. coaster. I get it now. That makes sense. Okay, okay, good. So how much kinetic energy would we have here? Mm. 4.9 joules, because if GP is zero, and the total always has to be the same, yep. kinetic has to be 4.9. Right? Very good. Yeah. So, the second hill is two meters high. 
how much GPE would the marble have here? Mm, but okay, but so it wouldn't. the mass is still 0.5 kilograms. Gravity, gravitational acceleration is 9.81, and the height is two. So multiply those together, you get 9.8 joules. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. But, Good. Um. But will the marble make it? to the top of this hill? Um, no. And that's what I was kind of about Why to say. Why not? Well, it only started with 4.9 joules of energy, and that won't change because the marble can't gain energy as we go. So it won't have enough energy to make it up there. Absolutely. And that explains why you all got stuck on that roller coaster. Um, that's not funny. Right. Oh, your, your face cleared up. You don't look like a strawberry type of... Weird One, don't don't look at my face. Well, Oompa Loompa. Why there are many other face. organs at work? Due to the potential energy of the blood, gravity was able to do work on it, and that energy was converted to kinetic energy as it was able to move downwards throughout the rest of her body. Now, that circulation is powered by all sorts of work done by electrochemical potential energy in your heart and cells, converting chemical energy from your food from nuclear energy harnessed in atoms that could be converted to electrical energy to solar energy from the sun, none of it can be destroyed or created, which is why you may hear so many arguments and debates about renewable energy sources. But no matter how complex the conversations may get, it always boils down to these same conversions from potential energy to kinetic energy. So how is that coaster even operating? The engineers learn physics from Mickens, <laughs> obviously. Like, who would even build a drop hill shorter than the loop? I mean, well, nobody built this. CRSI but, made this. They're just making a point to C help you learn. But I don't know. Who? Our creators. Creator. We're not huh? supposed to discuss religion in school. Right. Yeah. And as for me and my house, oh my I will serve 